Today, Ronnie O'Sullivan will be aiming to reach his sixth final appearance of the season. Standing in his way is Gary Wilson, a player also enjoying one of his most consistent campaigns to date. They've only met on five previous occasions, with the Rocket winning all but one. Guiding us through the opening four frames are Alan McManus and Phil Yates. But first, here's our MC, Phil Seymour, to introduce the players. Thanks, Jill. Good afternoon and a very warm welcome to the first semi-final here at the Johnston's Paints Tour Championship, where we've got another packed house here in Manchester! <laughs> it's the best of 19 frames. It's time now to meet our semi-finalists. We begin with a player who's already knocked out Zhang Ander and Mark Selby this week. He's the reigning Welsh and Scottish Open champion, the Tyneside Terror, Gary Wilson! He's a former winner of this event, the record-breaking eight-time Masters and UK champion and seven-time champion of the world, the Rocket, Ronnie O'Sullivan! <laughs> Gary, do you want to talk? Ronnie really O'Sullivan sorry. and a big crowd are made for each other. Gary Wilson hoping to be the villain Gary of the piece this afternoon because the vast majority of this audience would love to see a virtuoso performance from the Rocket. Wilson will get the ball rolling. He's a big outsider. Four to one against to win this match. I've seen Ronnie O'Sullivan six to one on the first frame. Gary Wilson to break. even with the application of check side and playing on a new cloth. O'Sullivan's pace control, pretty good. Yeah, Gary is obviously going to have to score, as you always have to in this company, in this type of occasion. But it's also going to be interesting to see if he can handle the O'Sullivan safety game.
Wilson's only win over O'Sullivan was 4-3 in the last 32 of the Scottish Open in 2022, a tournament he went on to win. He had breaks of 83, 82, 72, and in the decider under pressure, very nice 73, so he has to cling on to that kind of thought. I've done it once, I can do it again. First mini victory then. Falls to Gary. And he make good on it. This start is so important, isn't it? We saw the match with Judd and Mark Williams. How important that first frame was when Judd should have won it and didn't. advantage of almost every opportunity that comes his way. Okay, it wasn't a sitter, not blind. Now this is a proper chance. Quizzical look on the face of O'Sullivan. That's the kind of ball he's most likely to miss very early on. One. Seven. Eight. Wilson's ability to score must never be underestimated. He's made 236 career centuries five of which have been maximums at the UK championship in 2019 he made four consecutive 14. centuries in a match I 15. think that's one of the reasons why he becomes so frustrated he knows how good he is but sometimes Alan being a an utter perfectionist can be self-destructive. Yeah, I thought his temperament actually was superb against Zhang Ander. Because he didn't play anywhere near his best. And Zhang's not, you know, the, the quickest player on the tour, I think that's fair to say. So 21. he could easily have got frustrated, especially in the, the mid part of the match where Zhang Ander was kind of looking stronger. But he held firm and played well at the end of the match. 22. Same with Mark Allen, actually. He was the same, wasn't he, against John Higgins? And then against Ding. I've been impressed with him. His attitude's been very good. Quite a nice chance this, isn't it? Still six or seven reds. 28. Fairly straightforward. Two or three, you know, near cushions, so it eases the burden just a fraction.
but he can't afford to miss Gary Wilson, these 29. opportunities. He simply can't afford it. It wasn't the pink so much, it was the poor shot. He should have been much straighter on it. If O'Sullivan sinks this open in red, he could be off and running. Big shot, this. Oh, yes. Asking Paul Collier to clean the cue ball. When you're close to the cushion, you're hitting the white ball. On the top, that means there can be the possibility of a kick, and you don't want any debris on the white. Seven. You know what I thought was revealing? Rob Walker's interview with Ronnie O'Sullivan. Talking about all Eight. the semi-finals he's been in. And he said, I'm sure you don't remember your first. And immediately he said, yes, I do. He even knew the score, where it was, who he'd beaten, who he'd lost to. All of this about not interested in records. I'm not so sure. Fifteen. Sixteen. Yeah, he knows all right. I did a nice piece with him a couple of years ago in his mum's house and had the trophy cabinet, all the junior trinkets and trophies were still there and he remembered all of them. Talking about pro arms and who he played. Twenty four. How he won. How much he won. <laughs> And sometimes we forget O'Sullivan's first ranking event semi-final was over 30 years ago. 32. The longevity is mind-boggling. Thirty nine. Not only a terrific pet, but he is. Looks like the perfect angle on this black to play a cannon. Forty seven. Having to just a little too far, that would compromise alignment. <coughs> Forty-eight. It was the pink, but it was out of the blue. So both have missed pinks now. Yeah, and it was a thick miss, which is the way. Sorry, my mistake. It was it was thin, a blur, wasn't it? But... So. One. The second decent chance for Gary.
Nein. All balls are important, but how often is a frame determined by who puts the last red? Okay. This could well be another. Yeah, it was a pity for him. He couldn't 16. do anything about getting on the red, but is he playing the double? Seventeen super shot. And not only that, he looks to have the perfect angle on the black. This is a natural. The only concern maybe is the brown. Oh, he hasn't hit it, has he? He's short of pace, still on the yellow, but he can't hold for the green. 24. He played it awful quickly, I thought, the, the, the black. Then he could have done with just a few seconds just to think about it. Hesitation. He looks very in the mood to be aggressive. I think that's a good ploy. I don't think he's going to get the better of O'Sullivan if it goes in any way scrappy. Should win the frame now. Twenty-nine. Into the good. So uh, brown and blue. Needed. Thirty-three. Thirty-eight. Gary Wilson, 38. The pink causing all kinds of problems. The difference is 19. One snooker needed. 30. Alan, when you need one snooker with pink and black remaining, you're kicking against the wind, of course, but it's definitely worth carrying on. Oh, definitely. Gary's very good tactically, though. You wouldn't imagine Ronnie's going to get a good chance. Yeah, that's the clever way. Just get the pink safe and, and wait for something that you can get on board with. a half chance problem is it doesn't want to shove the pink over the green pocket <coughs> yeah great effort but it should be a straightforward hit Tell you one thing Wilson will not do, he'll play a, a sensible shot. He won't try and trickle the cue ball like Judd Trump did yesterday in the third frame. Fell victim to the ball rolling off and indirectly lost the frame as a consequence.
Another good try, but the cue ball just skidded on slightly too far. Gary Wilson, six, frame conceded, that frame Gary Wilson. That puts the seal on it now. Ronnie O'Sullivan was in on 48, missed the pink surprisingly. And in the end, the first frame. The second frame, Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. Just a few latecomers. Getting back into the arena. I must say, Whoever wins the tournament, whoever gets to the final, this week has been an unqualified success. This is a brand new venue for snooker, and it has been top notch, world class. Yeah, it has been excellent. People of Manchester have embraced it as we knew they would. Down to the semi-finals now, one table in the round, no distractions, there you go. Nice hospitality packages available today and tomorrow and obviously for the final. Terrific way to come and watch snooker these days. Not a bad attempt, actually, but it just grazed that near jaw, and there's no way it's going to fall in when that happens. So, another decent opening for Gary. Only not absolutely on it just yet. I know it's still early days. One. Maybe not the best analogy given the weather we've had this week, but Wilson has to make hay while the sun shines. While O'Sullivan is still bedding into the match, he needs to apply some pressure. Seven. Eight.
13. Fourteen. He's not been a beat this week, but he's got reasons sixteen to be cheerful. Because regardless of what happens today, he's going to go to the Crucible as the world number 10. That's his best ever ranking by two places. If he were to prevail today and then win the final, it would be better than that. 22. Twenty-three. Now this is the angle he's been looking for the last few shots on the blue. Just depends which way he wants to attack the Six red triangle, maybe a glancing blow off the right of them. That's what he was looking at. Yeah, that's a poor shot. That should be end of break, barring a plant. He's got into the cue ball too much. It was the glancing blow he was after. Gary Wilson, 28. <laughs> Didn't take an awful... A lot of time on that safety. Yeah, the glance off the trio or the the four reds together isn't all that difficult. That's what he's playing, but he must avoid yellow blue. That was the problem. That's what he was worried about. Obviously gonna separate those four. And contact on colour. He knew he would be giving O'Sullivan some sort of opening. Leonis Solis for Wilson. All three high-value colours, not where they normally are.
And basically the positional requirement made him miss that red with the rest. Yeah, twice across with the cue ball, tracking almost the red that's touching the pink. I mean, there are other alternatives there, but that might be the one he's tracking. Yeah, changed his mind, but played that lovely. Four. Suppose with a healthy lead as he has at the moment, it's just a case of pick them off, even although it is bulk colours, chiefly for the time being. Gary Wilson, four. A very bad ball to miss. Yeah, Stephen said it, didn't he? It's not the difficult ones that will hurt. It's shots like that, you can't miss those. Right, you're going to miss the odd one, but in general. Got to make all those decent chances count to the full. This doesn't look a great chance yet, but it might do in a few shots' time. One. Part of the problem with the black as it is, if he potted the black, it would be tied up because it would go on its own spot. So there's quite a lot to work out. Five. Using the ball colours as stepping stones Eight. to bigger things, hopefully. Nine. Maybe push the red onto the black spot here. That's what he tried, he nearly did. Does it go on its spot? If it does, it's obviously tied up, but he can get back up table. That was a terrific effort. If the red goes on the black spot there, he's in business. 16. Yeah, now he's paying a, a congestion charge. Seventeen. 
20. before that red saying hit the ball and they hit that one nicely twenty five twenty six At least he's back in the frame. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 26. The last time these two played in the quarterfinal of the World Grand Prix, O'Sullivan won 5 1, and he had some very good slices of fortune. The boot was on the other foot there. For the first half of his career, O'Sullivan hated these kinds of disjointed scrappy frames. I think now he views them as a challenge.
file. Ronnie O'Sullivan, seven. Not exactly influential, I don't think, this shot, but seven points for O'Sullivan. You don't look a, a gift horse in the math. It's one of those frames, the way it is at the moment. It's almost impossible to... Well, now the black's on the spot, I suppose. It's not impossible, but pot the red and get an angle on a colour to promote the other two. It's more a case of you want to pot the red and, and play a safety, try and force your opponent to make the first play in those two reds. Now, that helps it, but Ronnie has left this red. And it's one that Gary can't refuse. Pretty much has no other shot. was a terrific pot, guaranteed to leave one the way he played it. Now he'd love to get low of straight on this red, this next one. To bring the other one into play straight away. Not been able to do that, so. Five. Six. Yeah. yeah. I don't think this time he'd be able to leave a double on the last red. That'll just be a good safety shot, you would think. Well, Gary Wilson. Will six. Ronnie be tempted? Because with the low cue ball, it might be on with the black waiting. The double. And just like the opening frame, the second frame might well be all about the last red. So many frames fall like this. That red needs to apply the brakes. Foul. What a calamity. Sullivan, seven, free ball. Yeah, at first glance it does appear a calamity, but at least Gary put the cue ball in the bolt cushion and didn't leave a pot on. Actually not that bad, because, you know, dead weight he shouldn't be leaving this red. All right, it might not reach the first time, but he had something of a result there, did, did Gary. And a miss. Ronnie O'Sullivan, four. Ronnie thinks he can snick this in. Foul, but... Gary Wilson, four. Alan, you're the, the master of angles. That's not the kind of in-off you can really legislate for. You know, it, it was one of them, if, if he was playing it with running side, he had to play it with check to get the pot thin. You play it with check, as he had to there, Ronnie, then it's a little bit less predictable, the path of the cue ball. What a chance this is now, this is a... A big moment in this match to get 2 0 in front, even although he hasn't played anything like his best game yet, Gary. What a start this would be. Yes, it'd be scrappy, and he wouldn't be feeling cock a hoop about it, but. Five. 
They all count the same. Pink needed. Five. Fourteen. <coughs> Hard to imagine this being missed because he's got nothing to do with the cue ball. This is frame ball. Wilson is 2-0 ahead. One of the pockets has malfunctioned. The table fitter had to come into the arena to reaffix it to the table. And he did a very okay, fast Gary. job. It was like one of those mechanics changing a tyre in no time at Formula One. Thank you to third frame. Gary Wilson to break. Yeah, how did they how did they do that in about three or four seconds? Here, it's Wilson in pole position. No cause for panic yet. But we saw yesterday Judd Trump make a, a poor start and never recovered. O'Sullivan needs a good chance to get the Q arm flowing. Knocking a big break. And he'll feel a whole lot better. Turn the phones off, please. And there, the delivery of the cue left an awful lot to be desired. Yeah, it was one of those, he, it was tight, wasn't it, whether he could get through. I think he almost talked himself into believing he could get through. Either way, this is the first semblance of what you'd call a proper chance, really, for either player. Premium colours. Readily available, that's perfect. Seven.
É isso. As I mentioned in the previous frame, when they met in the World Grand Prix in January, O'Sullivan won 5 1. Lady Luck smiled on more than one occasion. 15. On the world number one, but he also made breaks of 129, 78, 68, 58, and 54. If he scores anywhere near as well as he can, he will win. Nicely done, just opening up the black spot. 22. For left corner. And low of straight again. 23. He can do a little bit more housework and just nestle one or two more reds further away from it. And now, all things being equal, you'd expect them. 30. To win the frame. Forty-six. Forty-seven. Talking about winning, he's got such a good record in our ITV events. I was looking 53. back. Fifty-three. Over the last five years or so, I think in the last five years. Fifty-four. In the big ITV events, he's won 40, 40 of his last fifty-one matches. Sixty. Sixty-one. So one more red with a colour. To get to semi-final up and running. Sixty-six. Sixty-seven. Contrasting frames. Frame two lasted 27 minutes. 74. This one has been on the go for seven minutes. 75. <laughs> 81 82 Suddenly the, the Q arm is being delivered with great authority 90. 
And that's not a good sign for Gary Wilson. Ninety-seven. Hundred and two. The crowd well the and on the frame. And with that, he gets off the mark in style. Obviously, Ronnie O'Sullivan was a red-hot favourite to win the match. Started out at six to one on. But Gary Wilson won the first frame on the blue, the second on the pink. The fourth frame, Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. It's a cracking white off the break off, but the the red coming back up the table has scuppered him. One. Yes, yeah, so all in all, that was an excellent pot. No great ambitions of getting on a colour, was relying on luck, so. At least he remained in charge of the table. You're right, Phil. Gary it is Wilson a big frame. Won. I think this session, eight frames as always, is very important for that fella. I'd love to take a lead. I mean, I know it's obvious, but... You know, trailing 5, 3 or 6, 2, if it obviously could be. You just play it. Jeez. As it comes, I understand that, but it feels like Gary, you know, maybe needs a lead going into this evening. Foul. Oh, now the then. More than a Sullivan five. The referee, Paul Collier, will be delighted there's a red on. He didn't want to put these back. One. Okay, many gamble there, just hoping to release the cue ball. This is awkward. Shot. <laughs> and in business again, O'Sullivan. Eight. What's he got this time now that he's got his tail up? Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Hey, 
Heard him there let out a sigh. I think he's just 30. still on this red. Just thinking about O'Sullivan's game, 31. actually, the way it's not so much developed in the last five or ten years. I, I do think the modern power game of... The Trumps, the Robertsons, Kyron Wilson, that type of player, has actually played into Sullivan's hands in some ways. 38. He's not the most powerful player. 39. And I think he under well, he understands pretty much everything about this game and what he does use is his knowledge and his touch. And almost think his way around the table these days as much as anything. See, I think it plays into his hands 41. in some way. Forty-two. And as he's got older, it is indisputable. His reserve of patience has increased tenfold. A younger man, those first two frames would have forty seven tested his patience to the limit and beyond. Might have started thrashing at a few. Not now. You know, he actually I think so far today he's been quite careful. Hmm, trying to force one, see he's got some power, he's got you know, more than enough, but it's not his way. Going at full pace. And to emphasise your point, Alan, that break ended on 48, as did the, the one in the first frame when he tried to power a pink. Gary, yeah, he, he was a feel a bit aggrieved there. He came to the table and it was hampered, but that's part of the test. That's you think about Mark Williams. He comes to the table and thinks, oh, awkward bridging. Okay, let's deal with that then. Lovely shot. One. Likewise, O'Sullivan, you come to the table, you just simply have to deal with what's in front of you. It's not easy, because we all like a whinge, no more than <laughs> myself now and again, but it's part of the test. Six. Mathematically on the verge of putting this frame to bed. He needs a red and a colour. Sweet. That is a better one. All but 2-2 two, two now. See, Gary, just looking at him in his chair 40. there, he looks a bit fed up and, you know, I'm not saying that's... See that? You know, shoulder slump looking a bit forlorn. I'm not saying that's going to affect him badly going forward, but... 15. The whole part of the game, this. You've got to stick in your chair and look as if you're still interested in what's going on. Send out good vibes, all that sort of stuff. He's done OK. 2-2's Two absolutely fine. 22. 23. The other daunting thing about playing against O'Sullivan, Wilson took 46 minutes of playing time to get 2-0 ahead. Fought so hard to do so. Within 17 minutes, that lead has been erased. 30. 31. <laughs> Oh, 
38. Forty four. On the frame, there was an early wobble or two, but don't worry, folks. Now the rocket is firing, and he's back on level terms. Today's action, Gary Wilson took the opening two frames, while Ronnie O'Sullivan won the next two to level the scores. Guiding us through the next four frames are Ken Doherty and David Hendon, but first to reintroduce the players, here's our MC Phil Seymour. Would you please welcome back to the table your match referee, Mr. Paul Collier, and your semi-finalists, Gary Wilson and Ronnie O'Sullivan. So, Gary Wilson, to get us underway, in the Thank you, uh, second five. half of the first Gary session here. To break. And uh, considering his highest break's only 38, he'd be satisfied enough with 2-2. Two, two. I'm sure you welcome the interval as well, because O'Sullivan was just starting to hit his stride. Big four frames here, obviously, ahead of the night session. <laughs> Wilson has only actually potted one ball since he won that dramatic second frame. Of course, the arena has changed. It's been... Changed overnight into a one table setup. Audience around three sides, very much O'Sullivan's territory, you gotta say. But of course Gary Wilson has won three ranking finals, so he's used to this as well. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how Gary Wilson reacts. Would he see the 2-2 two -two scoreline? Would he have been happy? He might have been happy beforehand, but as it panned out, he might have been more disappointed of the two. The mid-session interval, maybe it was a chance missed to have a little lead going into the second part of the eight-frame afternoon session. I must say, this arena, it is exceptional, isn't it, Dave? The crowds have been fantastic all week. And now, of course, just the focus and attention all on the single table setup. Yeah, there's just a real good feel about the venue around backstage, lots of room for everybody. And of course, we're right in the centre of Manchester, lots of places to go in between sessions. Yeah, I think it's an important little mini session, particularly for Gary Wilson going in to this evening's session. I'm going to stick with Ronnie O'Sullivan, just keep letting him know that he's still there. If he gets a chance, he's going to take it, put some sort of pressure on him, but doesn't want to let Ronnie O'Sullivan get into too much of a lead because we know how good of a front runner he is. Saw that in the Ali Carter match. He just took off. Left Ali Carter in his Weak, but that has gone wrong, and this is the chance now Gary Wilson would have wanted. Yeah, he's going to have to score clearly today. Highest break 38, pot success 83%. These are numbers that need to go up. Such a long match, you're not just going to scrap your way through. Yeah, and even though he hasn't been 
overly happy with his performance as Gary Wilson. Still, when he gets going, what? he's such a good scorer. Sometimes when you come through those tough matches, as he has done against Max Elby and Chang and the and the shackles can sometimes come off even when people aren't expecting you to win. That you can just well maybe relax a little bit. A good opportunity here now to get some points on the board. Seven. Eight. Thirteen. Fourteen. Gary Wilson, a few moments ago, had a look at the pink into the bottom right corner pocket. He'd love if it did go. It looks very, very tight. He may come down and have another look at it. Now you see. Didn't like it the first time he had a look at it. Might go in, but off the right hand side of the pocket as we look, but still got other options. I'd love to open up that pink into the at least one of the corner pockets. Seventeen. Try to get on this red, which in turn would try and release the black here. I just would have loved for that cue ball just to travel another inch or two down this end of the table, and it would have been perfect. So this could go wrong, but if he gets it right, well, could be a real frame and a chance. Eighteen. Yeah, it's not bad. You'll settle for that. Bridging over the red. Just made it that little bit more awkward. And well, you saw the frustration. Never expected him to miss it. Yeah, and then the reaction. Bang in, bang in that cue into the ground. One. Yeah, and as an opposing player. As Ronnie is, uh, he would love to see that. I'd love to see his opponent showing that frustration, get him at it. But now, eight. Time to capitalize. Nine. Yeah, big moment, I think, because Wilson was looking like he was starting to get going. So it wasn't just one bang, was it? It was several with that cue. And now, of course, he's got to sit and just watch as the greatest break builder we've ever seen goes about his business here. He's already had a century, of course, in frame three, O'Sullivan. 16. 17. Twenty-four. 
2025. Thirty two. Thirty three. Yeah, and even though that shot didn't look much, but have a look at the position of the cue ball. Perfect on the blue. Just get on these two reds below the pink. Sometimes a little bit of adrenaline, you can over hit that and go a little bit too far, then you're struggling with the cue ball. But I saw that just as touch. Thirty-nine. Could have played that a little bit better. I needed to screw the cue ball back. Be a bit more straighter on this pink. Good recovery. Beautiful shot. Screwing it in off the side cushion. A little bit 45. left inside. Beautifully played. Forty-six. Check the scores 35. 53. Points in front. A couple of reds needed here to thoroughly punish the Miss Black from Wilson. 54. Yeah, and as I said, when he came to the table, he saw Gary. 61. Banged you on the ground it sort of gives you a little bit even more focus and attention and makes the break even more important just to make your opponent even suffer more in the chair 62 and contemplate and rue that miss because that was a great opportunity for gary wilson and that could affect him what a wonderful positional shot 67 he'd be reeling there in his chair yeah, and it sort of puts pressure on him next time he gets a chance, doesn't it? Be thinking, right, I've got to take it now. And this pressure can build in a match like this. 65. And of course, the worst thing is, he's starting to play really well from 2 0 down. He's been impressive. 76. May take the cue ball in and out of bulk in between the yellow and brown. The pace looks pretty good. Yeah, what a shot. 83. So poised for a second century of the afternoon. 85. We're very lucky, of course, we get to see him a lot, but I'm sure there'll be people here today who are watching him live for the first time. What a thrill it must be. Well, funny you should say that. I was talking to a few people up there in the 1875 club. 92. And they, they hadn't seen Ronnie O'Sullivan play live before. Some of them had. Well, I said it would be a, a real treat just to see him in the flesh and, and relish this, these moments as he's coming. Well, 97. The later oh. stage of his career was still number one in the world. But just to, to see him play live. Quite incredible. Another century to 103. Be. Yeah, he's thoroughly punished the Gary Wilson error. That's why Wilson was banging his cue into the floor. As he feared what was following. And what's followed is a break of 110 from Ronnie O'Sullivan from 2 0 down. Yeah, you can see the frustration here. Just one, just one bang, was it? He just kept going. Gary Wilson, 18. And well, he was right to be frustrated because, of course, he sat down and didn't get another shot. O'Sullivan cleared okay, with 110. It's 3-2 to Ronnie O'Sullivan in the first semi-final of the Tour Championship. Yeah, and it's Thank not you, something frame six. I don't blame him. For Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. Don't mind seeing it. it. shows you how much it means to him, how much he wants it. 
as long as he doesn't, as you said, get the better of him. If anything, try and make it inspire him, you know, to f a little bit. But it could have an adverse effect on him, remains to be seen. Yeah, I think sometimes with things like that, you're just getting it out of your system. But he, whatever, he needs to clear his mind now and just focus on this next frame. He's only one frame behind, after all, even though Sullivan clearly is playing the better snooker. Yeah, and he's getting chances. You know, he had a golden chance in that frame, so he's running with Sullivan. But as well as he's playing, he's, he has given chances to Gary Wilson. He's just got to take them a little bit better. Always a good idea, just in case there may be some sort of plant there, but also the fact that I don't want to be knocking a red towards this bottom right corner pocket playing this shot. Trying to get the cue ball over behind Brown and Green, just to cover down the left-hand side of the table. That little kiss on the Brown hasn't helped them, so a chance for Gary Wilson to play a similar shot. Foul well. and a miss. <coughs> Ronnie O'Sullivan four. Back. Well, that's two shots now. This is a cushion, please, Ollie. Session. He's hit offline. The blue earlier cost him. Bag of the lead forward. More. 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 Bit more. And then to your right. Touch ball. Tight in. Okay. Do you think a bit further? It's, it's your discretion now. It, yeah. It's fine here. So you can see it on there. There's, there's not much in it. So. Yeah. Ronnie, you okay? Thanks. this red into this bottom right corner pocket. He did have a quick look of it. Now he's having a look at a possible safety shot. But if you can't see a safety shot, you may take this long straight red in. Could hold for the black. If there's one part of his game that has slightly irritated him over the years, it would have been knocking long balls in on a regular basis. Still a great long potter, don't get me wrong, but maybe not in his top 90 or so percent of his other facets of his game. This time he's refusing the long pot, playing the safety, and it looks like he's played a good one. A very good one. This is what's a little ominous today. He's very disciplined. Even there, just stepped away, asked the referee to look down the line of the shot, all of that, doing everything right. Keeping the pressure on Gary Wilson.
worst possible outcome for Gary Wilson, leaving that red in the jaws of the pocket and straightforward plant. Hold for the pink into the opposite corner if he wishes. One. spots on its own spot so I'm not quite sure there's enough room on the black spot we'll soon find out maybe yeah just about Seven. that sort of helps Ronnie O'Sullivan didn't want to going up on the the next available spot which would have been the brown keep it the pink down the center of the table and certainly help us cause eight mm, but hasn't played that too well very short with the cue ball. He's got a difficult pot now on the pink. This could go wrong. But it's gone right. He's looking good, isn't he, here today? I thought he was very relaxed actually okay. in the interview with Rob. Again, said all the right things. It, it has to say it's ominous. He said as well, hasn't he? I mean, he made this public himself he's working again with dr steve peters head of the world championship but also here head of this tournament so he's in a good place i think Fifteen. yeah he looks very calm relaxed and even when he he does miss the odd one. He doesn't really sort of beat himself up too much about it. Still gets frustrated when he doesn't play his absolute best. 20. He's such a perfectionist, but... Well, yeah, totally agree. He looks 21. Yeah, very calm, very relaxed his last few days. And even when he went 2-0 down early on in this match, there was no panic buttons pressed whatsoever. 26. Probably even relished it. Sort of challenge of it all, how he can 27. react. 27. He reacted very well. 32. Something on the cue ball. Paul Collier doing the honours. Again, left himself a more difficult pink than he would have liked, but easily dispatched. And the only problem about that shot is the cue ball now has travelled a little bit more of distance. 39. Ah, oh, lovely. 40. Well, you can't cue the ball better than that. Beautiful. Right in the heart of the pocket, nicely on the blue. Forty-five. Forty-six. 
if he was 50 points behind, he'd be playing this black and going into the four reds, but I'm not quite sure he will deal with this shot. Yeah, he's played it, and for this loose red, I think he's OK. 53. Spider. A bit more awkward with the left hand, so ask for the spider. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 53. He sort of half laughed that off, but he was gutted to miss it because he was in full control and taking control of the match. So, Gary Wilson, I'm sure, was not expecting to get a chance. Here it is. One. And this is where your composure has to be at its best. Eight. Forget about your frustrations, what you've missed, what's gone is gone. You've got a good chance. You've got to take advantage of it. Keep a clear head. Nine. Well, we've seen a few key clearances in this tournament. This could be another big one coming up. O'Sullivan has started to play really well. One miss, though, has opened the door. Sixteen. Seventeen. Yeah, and apart from winning the frame, I think it's just so important for Gary Wilson this contribution. Twenty just for his own confidence, belief. Twenty five. And of course, strike a blow to his opponent. He's played the little cannon, has it gone? According to plan, is this red potable? It's pretty tight. He's okay. 32. Good shot, and he's got a nice angle. And if this red doesn't pot, the one below the pink, which he's having a look at, if it doesn't pot, he has the perfect angle to play the, the cannon on the red and bring it into play. So he's played for the red. Oh, has he hit it hard enough? A little Roy smile, but yeah, sure. the angle's not Sorry. great. And he's asked Paul Collier to have a look at this because if he hits both red and pink simultaneously, it's a foul. Wow. Foul. Well, it's big because the red's gone in. I, I, I think it was definitely. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure, sure, but Paul Collier, he's saying it's a foul. Can you have a look? Is Ronnie's sort of not, not getting really involved. The replay on there wouldn't show that, so... Because you've got to do it in real time, really. I'm just thinking, you the thing first, don't you? But it was with the contact as well. It was like a thin contact off it when he went into it, so I'm, I think it was a foul. Yeah, I mean, the referee's right yeah, on the spot. We're seeing a replay, which is from a slightly different angle. He was right behind it. Gary Wilson, 40, Ronnie O'Sullivan, six. Gary Wilson's had to accept the decision. 
Yeah, big decision as well, isn't it? Look at where the position of the cue ball on the blue. Let's have a look at it again. Big call. Jeez. Well, this red may be potable. Well, not a great shot from Ronnie O'Sullivan there. Red clearly goes past the yellow, so can he compose himself once again? Damage done. on the blue he didn't want that look where the red is finished that's unlucky oh he'll be fuming It was a big call by the referee, and of course, he potted the red, so he could have continued the That's the point, right. you know, these, these would have been his, but Paul Collins made an honest decision. He's, as I say, he was right behind it. Five. But the bottom line is, O'Sullivan, he's going to be too clear. Contentious issue that I'm sure will be debated on the lads in the studio and Jill. But it was very, very close. Big decision. 17. And whatever happens, let's cost Gary Wilson this frame. Yeah. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 17. And, the frame. and Ronnie O'Sullivan has now won four frames in a row, so two left to play this afternoon. He leads Gary Wilson 4-2. Welcome back to Manchester. So 4-2 to Ronnie O'Sullivan. Both players have left the arena. A big moment in that last frame, the, the foul that was called on Gary Wilson. We're going to sit here, Ken. Yeah, give us a look at it again. Now, this is slowed right down, and you make up your own mind, is it? If it's simultaneously, it's a foul. Well, let's have a look again. It's very, very close. And, of course, we're looking at it on the slow-mo. It's a very tough call for Paul Collier, a brave call. And I'm not quite sure why they probably didn't have a look at it. He probably said because it wasn't real time, but they could have had a look at it on the screen, I presume. Yeah, Gary Wilson actually, as he left the arena, climbed up to the window here in our box and, and asked us, <laughs> was it a foul or not? He wasn't absolutely sure. He didn't think so. And we've seen the replay. It's, it's not that clear. What is clear, it made a big difference. That's just undeniable. And it's 4-2 and... O'Sullivan, of course, will need one of the next two to guarantee a lead coming back here this evening. No, it takes too long. They don't always have it either. You can't always tell us. It takes too long to get it up, and they can't always tell from it anyway. So. O'Sullivan just asking about whether a replay could have been used. We don't have a VAR room as such, do we, at the snooker? <laughs> yeah. Frame seven, Gary Wilson to break. And put it out of his mind. There's a lot of frames to go. 
two more, of course, in this session, but let's hope that it sort of cleared his head as he left the arena. Back down to business. Yeah, because if you scroll back, obviously, the positional shot he played, he left himself. I mean, he actually asked the referee to step forward and look at it because he knew he'd left himself close to it. So the, the threat of the foul was there. Anyway, that's gone now. We're on to this next frame. Best way to get out with that. Knock a long ball in and come in. Score again. That's better. That's better. One. Lovely shot. little shot this is going to play with a little bit of pace get the cue ball out for black yeah nicely played Nine. Well, that was an aggressive 16. shot from Gary Wilson. He didn't have to go into the pack. Got a little bit too much on the cue ball. That's why it's ended up in this side cushion. But 17. Good recovery. Pink available into this left corner pocket. You never know that. <laughs> we might look back and say that foul's the best thing that could have happened to him. He's come out. He got a great cheer actually from this crowd as he walked back in. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Twenty-nine. Oh, <laughs> that was definitely red first. Thirty five. Forty six. Fifty three. Forty 
54. Well, this is already his highest break of the day, but of course needs to put the frame away now. Yeah, just slightly out of position. There's no problem with the blue, but it's just position for the next red. Having a look at the green now. Off two cushions, back for one of these loose reds. Oh, that's a nice shot. Lovely shot. And back in prime position. 57. Yeah, and you could be right there <laughs> in a strange way. This might, that little sort of contentious issue might, might just fire him up a little bit. It's amazing how something like 65. that, the match, that, you know, can upset you, can focus the mind as well at the same time. Sixty-six. Well, this is effectively frame ball, and every credit to him, the way he's come out and won the frame in a single visit. <laughs> After everything that had gone on. Sixty-nine. Seventy. Yeah, I think it shown great character. You know, he could have easily dropped his head and sulked a little bit. Felt like everything going against him. But he hasn't done that. He went out, cleared his head, came back in. 77. Felt a bit of love from the crowd as well. They may have watched it on the monitor. But he got a lovely warm reception when he came back in. And maybe it's just, like, it's just got him going a little bit here. It's a wonderful break. Great character shown here. Yeah, this is sort of snooky you need to play in a big semi-final against Ronnie O'Sullivan. 83. Pretty swift. Gary Wilson, 83, I'm afraid. 83 from Gary Wilson. That's more like it. So only one in it with one to play this afternoon. O'Sullivan leading 4-3. Must be a very interesting afternoon here. And Ronnie O'Sullivan's lead has been cut to 4 3 83, the break from Wilson, easily his best of the afternoon. Final frame of this session, Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. Ronnie O'Sullivan straight away won the clear the black spot area at the black into open play. Doesn't want to fiddling around playing too many safety shots. Tempter left for Ronnie O'Sullivan into this bottom right corner pocket. Not quite sure whether he'll entertain it or not. Contemplating it. 
We'll come down this end of the table to see well, if he does play a safety shot, a containing safety shot, what will he leave? Is it worth taking on? Maybe not, not this time. Important frame, last one of the session. Something. A little foreign body removed. Yeah, I didn't fancy it. Dynamic that's changed is that Wilson has now made a frame-winning break. He was struggling to score before that point. And, of course, it was an important frame, and he lost it 5-2 down. Then it looks like it could be 6-2, and he's right up against it then. Yeah, that's just it's good for his zone. As I said, his confidence, you know, it looked like he was getting a little bit frustrated. Things going against them. Wouldn't the frame like that after particularly what had happened? It was might give him a well good boost, not only for this final frame, but for the rest of the session as well. They were only taking this red on. Oh, it was close. Question is, what has he left? Is there a pos possible pot on here? Is this red available into this left center pocket? The extreme red of the of the bunch. Maybe potable. Hold for the black. Oh, just wide, and he's left it. Eleven. Yeah, now the interesting point about this little break is how is he going to attack this 16. bunch of reds? Pink is not in a great 
position for the blue. 17. Because it's so far away from the pack. It's not straightforward if he tries to go into the pack here, direct from the blue. That's why he's played for the loose red. 22. So 23. Playing off the black, but it's not guaranteed as. Never guaranteed. Has he got one into the middle? He's having a good look. 30. See, it doesn't pot. So what's he gonna do? Possible double. Oh, it was a double, but very risky. Twenty O'Sullivan thirty. He's left one. Yeah. Big shot coming up here. We know he's queuing well after the last frame. This is his chance now. To level this match. And it goes. Oh. Well, it's been eventful, hasn't it? And now, very interesting visit. If he can get out of this 4 4, Ken, he's got to be absolutely delighted. Oh, I'd be delighted Six. to get back to the table. I'm a very strange shot from Ronnie O'Sullivan there, it has to be said. Very risky double, didn't have to play it. He... And the way he played it, it wasn't like he played it with an element of safety. He clearly could leave one of those reds, which. Seven. Harry Wilson potted into the middle, so it could be very costly for Sullivan. <coughs> May play a little cannon into these four reds just to the right of the pink. No, playing for the loose one. Twelve. Yeah, you had a look 19. at those four reds. Well, you can certainly see at least two of them pot. And that's why he didn't go into them earlier. So that's good news for Gary Wilson. 20. Four points behind. 26. So even if you got... Uh, if you got these five reds 27. and five blacks and that would put him 36 points in the lead with just that one red it's on the left hand side cushion so it's important that he keeps a check on the score here because he doesn't want to have to need that safe red 34 four reds four blacks here 35. would be perfect I haven't seen him look at the score just yet Now he has. <laughs> 
quite sure that was the right shot 42. there because he could have disturbed those two reds that aren't potable and now he can't get back on the black. 43. So trying to just nestle into these two reds, bring them both into play. He's got the connection. Well, it's not too bad. He'll settle for that. But he's going to need that safe red. That's going to be the pivotal ball in this frame. Last frame of the session. What a big frame it could turn out to be. 49. for pink here actually the easiest ball to 55. remove the red from the cushion is the yellow Let's see if he goes up for the yellow here he certainly has now big shot 56. coming up 56 wants to maybe just hit the back of the red but not hit it too hard just bring it into the open have it into the middle or a corner pocket big shot lovely it's okay. He has it into the corner. Just needs the red. 58. To tie the session. Coming back tonight. Sullivan is looking right down the barrel here. Seen it go in. 59. Well, what a funny old game snooker is. In frame six, Gary Wilson was poised to win the frame. He was called for a foul that, after looking at replays, didn't look like it was a foul. But from that moment, he's grown stronger. He's looked really good, 64. these last two. O'Sullivan went for that speculative double, left the red to middle. Wilson knocked it in. And he's levelled up. 66. Yeah, two wonderful breaks, it has to be said. And it's shaped up nicely. What a wonderful session of snooker 69. from both players. Big breaks. Drama. But wonderful frames to finish and poised beautifully, David, for tonight. Absolutely. Tonight's going to be some viewing, isn't it? O'Sullivan's played good stuff as well. Made two centuries. 78. But every credit to Gary Wilson, that setback, he just wiped from his mind and got on with the job in hand, which is trying to reach the final of this Tour Championship. And it could not be set up better. 84 in the frame, Gary Wilson. 84 from Gary Wilson to follow the 83 in the previous frame. So the first semi-final of the Tour Championship, perfectly poised at the halfway stage. Level 4-4.